Let's start things off with Party City. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. All right, shares, not a party. It's down by about 38%. Somebody pulling the punch bowl after reporting a miss on estimates for the latest quarter, accompanied with a step down in its full year revenue forecast. And you're taking a look at some of the actuals versus the estimates. It was a big miss on EPS. Um, and then the actuals for the revenue, that was off by about... $13 million there for Party City. I don't know. I haven't been to a Party City in a while. <laughs> I think you and many other folks, Brad, have not, have not been to a Party City. But same store sales under pressure for this company. Inventory, uh, I know this, our Connor Hickey our, is our inventory guy. He would really appreciate the shout out. Up $250 million year over year. Now, this quarter does not capture the whole uh, performance of Halloween, but Party City is noting it was a disappointing Halloween season. They're sitting on a likely a lot of uh, Halloween uh, goods that just did not sell. I and mean, look, we have a picture right here. You, it's barely cute things on this Party City site. You can see a lot of cool uh, dog and, and pet costumes here. Very interesting stuff that looks like it did not sell over at Party City. Now they're also saying... There it is. There it is. There it is. The, I, I, I'm a big fan of that UPS. You got to touch a ticker here. I'm a big fan of that UPS, UPS dog costume, costume right there. Yeah. That is a home, home, home run. I'm going to take this segment and send it to uh, UPS CEO Carol Tomei because I, I, I really dig that. But I will note this also. Uh, Party City now reducing the corporate workforce by 19%. That is the, really, I think, one of the first retailers that I can call reducing force. Now, over the next two weeks, we're going to be getting a lot of retail earnings. It picks up with luxury goods players later this week, Tapestry, uh, Capri, you name it. Unlikely they're going to be laying people off, but to see a Party City, Party City a, a discount retailer, laying people off ahead of the holiday shopping season is a big red flag. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see others make similar announcements. It's at a time where many of the other competitors on the retail front are doing seasonal hiring as well. And perhaps when we think through Party City, and that's a tough position to be in when you are in any type of investor relations communication capacity and you have to blame Halloween being weak or being down for some of the results that you also saw too. It's just indicative of where consumers may be actually even in the most fun of times, tightening how much they're spending on certain activities, whether that be a social function or whether that just be something for your own enjoyment. These, I, cost, I, these I costumes dress, are expensive. They are. I dress up for my own enjoyment. And how much Halloween. was that? How much investment was that, Brad? Like 70, 80 bucks. I mean, I saw your costume. It was very nice. It, it was, was awesome. It Maybe was, it was more than that. Well, part but, of it, I, I pieced together. Okay, so. fair enough. But look, I, I think Party City's results were, were a major red flag. And, you know, to see that workforce reduction is something you have to continue to monitor moving forward uh, throughout the retail sector. All right.